It's become almost an annual expedition, but Irish actress and world-famous film star Maureen O'Hara simply will not miss the Irish Coffee Festival in Foynes. She has a long association with the West Limerick town, which during the 1930s and 40s was one of the most important airports in Western Europe, where the famous flying boats landed on journeys between Europe and the United States. Her husband, Captain Charlie Blair, was one of those pilots. He used to fly the seaplanes in here to Voines, and as it happened, he flew the last commercial seaplane out of Voines and closed Voines as a, as a seaplane base when people went to land planes. He went, flew to New York, closed Foynes, dipped his plane as he went down the street to say goodbye and had some sleep in New York and he flew the first land plane from the United States to land in, Foyne, in Shannon Airport. And there's a monument at Shannon Airport uh, to him because of that. Foynes is also the place where Irish coffee was invented by chef Joe Sheridan on a cold winter night back in 1943. The drink is now world famous and is the inspiration for Foynes' own festival, a town which suffered a huge blow when the airport moved to Shannon. I mean, when you go from a small rural village that had uh, an airport, a harbour, passenger train service, and you go back to nothing, I mean, we now have the harbour, which is brilliant, and it's a very busy harbour, providing most of the employment, but they were devastated here when the airport left. From being having days of watching uh, the likes of uh, Bob Hope and Yehudi Menman walking the street, to all that was gone. I come back here because uh, it's in to, to help and honour the Foynes Aviation Museum, and because the lady that is really the force back of it, Margaret O'Shaughnessy, is an old devil that pesters you to death. And if you said no to Margaret, don't go sleep at night. Maureen is the link, I suppose, in that she's here every year with us and she turned down a major event in Los Angeles tonight to be with us. It's nice that the festival tonight coincides with her 76th birthday and uh, she's always great to come and do whatever we ask of her. The festival attracts the skills of Irish coffee makers from all over the world with all their own secrets about how to make the perfect Irish coffee. The best Irish coffee is made of uh, fresh coffee, Good sugar, good whiskey, and um, fresh cream. Do you have any particular secret the way you put the ingredients together? Uh, no, but I have a uh, special sugar with me from Norway. I pour just maybe a hint of whiskey into the cream as I mix it to make it more pourable on the coffee, and sugar well stirred into it, and that's probably about the best of it. Firstly, a clean glass, polish the glass, two spoons of sugar, boiling hot coffee, John Paris whiskey and double cream. What's the most dangerous part, do you think? Is it putting in the cream? I'd say the landing on the... to land the cream on the coffee. That's a very dangerous one. It's like, it's like coming in to land if there's a, a bad gale and you're not coming in against the wind, making the perfect landing, you know. The same thing, when, you're, when, you, when you take off from that bowl with the cream, if you don't land properly, you're in trouble.